The following teaching is possible thanks to the friends and partners of Spirit and Truth Fellowship International. Well, welcome back to our seminar on God's foreknowledge and how God relates to mankind. One of the benefits of the open view of God, the power model, is it explains why and how there came to be so much evil in the world. Now, <laughs> for, for thousands of years, philosophers and theologians have been discussing what is called the problem of evil. And the, really, if you believe in God having exhaustive foreknowledge and complete control over the world, the problem of evil is, <laughs> it's a problem. Why? Because you're saying, number one, God is love, that he really loves and should act in a loving way. And two, that before there was anything, I mean, it's just blackness in God, and he creates the universe, he knows exactly what's going to happen. He knows about all the evil, all the horrible things that go on in the world, and he created them anyway. And furthermore, there's a lot of evil going on right now. And, you know, and, and then people say, well, how could a loving God do this? And I get that. But, you know, maybe we could reframe the problem and get rid of the problem of evil. The, the, real, the reason there's a problem of evil is because of the assumptions that are made about God. But if those assumptions aren't true, then the problem of evil goes away. I mean, you know, if you, if you think about it, Here's the problem of evil from an exhaustive foreknowledge point of view. Is that before there was anything, when there was just blackness, God foresaw all the evil that would occur, the rapes, the murders, the starvation, the tsunamis, the tornadoes. He foresaw every bit of that, and he created it all anyway, and he's supposed to be a loving God. Now that's the problem of evil from a, a natural foreknowledge standpoint. The open view of God says that when God created the heavens and the earth, he created genuinely free will beings that made genuine decisions on their own and God didn't know what those decisions would be. He knew the potential that people had for evil, but he didn't know that they would actually do that. And he, and honestly, the way he created people, and he's always been so good and so righteous, why would so many people turn against him? You see, we can honestly say from an open view, point of view of God that God did not really understand that. Now, obviously, the knowledge model of God's been around a long time. People have had a long time to think about this. And so the first objection to the open view of God in this category of the problem of evil is, well, God didn't create the evil act. God created people with free will, and they did the evil act. You know, that really doesn't work. I mean, there's a re I mean, philosophers and theologians have said that for centuries and centuries, and it hasn't solved the problem. Why hasn't it solved the problem? Look, if, let's say I'm a, I'm a biologist and I'm upset by the number of people in Africa that are being eaten by lions. So I decide that what I'm going to do is I'm going to, dis I'm going to cross a lion and a rattlesnake because rattlesnakes warn people before they bite. And so now I'm going to come up with a lion that's going to warn people with a rattle and people are going to be able to escape and things are going to be much safer in Africa. Great, great plan. But now what happens is I cross a lion and a rattlesnake and I get a, I get a lion that bites people and they die of poison. Now, if, if that was a situation, I go, oh my goodness, I didn't mean for that to happen. And then I'd kill the beast and we'd be done with it. But if I knew ahead of time what would the animal that would be produced and did it anyway, then I'm responsible. And that's why just simply saying, well, you know, God created free will beings, it was their choice. Before God ever created free will beings, he knew exactly what they would do and did it anyway. Now that makes God responsible, and that's why for millennia people have been talking about the problem of evil. Why does the open view of God get rid of that objection? Because when God created the spirit world and God created people, he knew the potential they had for evil. 
but he didn't know they were going to make all those evil decisions. And by the way, when there's somebody in the world that makes an evil decision to rape somebody or murder somebody or steal somebody's goods, that's their decision. They made that on their own, and God didn't know about it, you know, before the foundation of the world. That's part of the open view, you see, and, and one of the advantages of the open view of God. Well, another objection is simply that, look, God's God, and yes, he knew all the evil that would happen, and it was just part of his plan, and he's going to bring good from it. And that's a standard theological answer, that the evil in the world is part of God's plan, and he's going to bring good from it. Why won't that work? You say, Here, here's a God. Now, you've got to understand. Okay, what we're saying then is that God designed the universe, and he built evil into the warp and woof of life. Look around us. There's evil everywhere. God knew that would happen, and he built that in so that in the end, there would be good. Now, why doesn't that work? Because God in the Bible tells us that you and I are not to do evil that good may come. That's right in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 3, verse 8. Don't do evil so that good may come. Well, God, God can't tell us not to do evil so that good may come and then do it himself. Why not? Because in Ephesians 5, 1, he tells us to be imitators of him. <laughs> now, if God's going to do evil that good may come, and to imitate him, we'd have to be able to do evil that good may come. But he tells us specifically not to do that. In fact, he commands us not to do evil so that good may come. So God does, it wasn't part of his plan to bring forth good. That's not why there's evil in the world, and it's important that, um, that we understand that. Well, then it's also stated, well, you know, God couldn't have made man any other way. You know, God, you know, he knew in his foreknowledge what mankind would do, but he couldn't create him any other way. We're going to deny that. I, I simply deny that assertion. I think that if God really genuinely foresaw all the evil that would occur, he is love. He really is. He is love. And he is good. And he would have done something different if he really genuinely foresaw all of the evil. And in fact, later on in the seminar, we're going to, in other sessions, we're going to read verses where God said he didn't know. And those are some of the prime verses for, for our case. Absolutely. So these are some of the reasons that it's important for us to understand the open view is that, that otherwise I don't understand God. Like so many theologians, I don't understand God. Why is the world so evil? The open view of God allows me to understand, wow, I understand why the world is so evil. Now another thing about the open view of God is it is the way God says he works in the word of God. Now this is... <laughs> This is unbelievably important because here's the book. This, this book, the Bible, is what I'm supposed to be able to read and then find out how God works. So if I open up and I read it, do I read the knowledge model that God says, I predict the future because I know everything, or does God say that he uses a power model? And the fact is he uses a power model. Now, we've already read some verse to this effect in Isaiah 46.10. But here's Isaiah 48, verse 3. And the, this is Holman Christian Standard Bible. And God says, I declared the past events long ago. They came out of my mouth. I proclaimed them. Okay, here's God predicting the future. Suddenly I acted and they occurred. That. <laughs> you couldn't have stated the power model any better than that. God says what he's going to do. Then he waits until the time for the prediction is to be fulfilled. And then he acts and they come to pass. One of the, why would I believe in the power model? Because I think that it's clearly the model that is described in the Bible. And as I said, if we opened this session... You know, the power model is the only way I've ever seen, and I've studied this for years, to truly understand how there can be evil in the world around us, but God didn't know about it, and he certainly didn't design the world this way. It really helps us relate to God and see him as the loving God he is. God bless you.